All right, we're going to go over the um, natural selection, chapter two, lesson 1.2, um, activity three, uh, modeling tool that you need to use. Um, and if you look at the instructions as an online uh, Amplify, talks about cubes. Uh, we don't have those at home probably. So you can uh, use other things. I printed up some paper squares that had different colors. Um, so we had the blue, the purple, and the green that was requested um, to set it up. Um, you need to start off with four blue, four green, and four purple uh, to begin with. But like I said, you could use something else. Um, I thought about even just uh, writing little uh, torn up pieces of paper with a P and a G for green, that kind of thing. Or you might use different types of beans or rice or something like that just to keep track of everything. The other thing you're going to need is your document. Um, from the Google Classroom slide um, for the generation data and the histograms that we're going to be doing. And you actually kind of um, start off, like I said, with what did you get for the population? So um, I will uh, have you watch uh, us spread those out. This is randomly going to be spread out. So if you can, um, you can generate this sheet that has a place for the parents, the offspring, and, and the graveyard because uh, the individuals will die. You just want to mix up your individuals. But remember, we're starting with four of each color um, because that's the way the, the model was set up. So as we put them out, we're just putting them out randomly. So once the parents have uh, been distributed from the population, um, then we're going to pause it right there. And I'm going to point out that these colors are these numbers right here. This is generation zero. These are the parents that are starting it off. So we have four purple parents, we have four blue parents, and we have uh, four green parents. So as we continue, we're going to have those parents um, produce offspring. And those offspring are going to match the parents according to the rules. So the first parent is blue, second parent is purple and they had kids that were blue and purple, one of each. Uh, the next two are purple, so they're going to have two purple kids. Uh, then we have a green and a blue. So you're going to continue that process. You're just duplicating what the parents were in this case. So each set of parents had two offspring that matched their traits. Now once this is done, you're going to need to remove half of the green. The instructions say half the green. There's eight. So we're going to take away four of those green individuals, and it doesn't matter where they came from. And we're going to take away two purple each time it says that we're going to take away two purple. Okay, now we're going to take what's left over and we're going to mix those up. This is the new parent pool, and they're going to be um, distributed in these parent boxes again. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and I'm going to pause it there because everybody that didn't make it into the, as a parent, uh, ended up dying without children is basically what have, happened. Now that we have this um, grouping up here, this is our new generation one. So we need to record how many of each that we have. So um, I'm using something like notability, a little different, but um, I'm going to keep track of these numbers. So we had one, uh, where are we? Two, three, four. We still have four blue individuals, so I'm going to put four. And then we need purple, so one, two, three, four, five purple. So I will come over here and put a five. And then we need to uh, count the greens. We have one, two, three green. So we'll put three there. 
Okay, now once you've done that, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what um, our offspring look like. So let me play that for you. So remember, we're just matching. So the first one had one blue, one purple. So we have one blue, one purple. Second one's purple and green. So we have purple and green for the offspring. The offspring are the children. And then we have all the children. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna remove half of the green. So we have six of them. That means I need to have three that are going to die, go to the graveyard, and then we're gonna remove two purple. Doesn't matter where they come from. And now the graveyard has more, but we're gonna collect all the living individuals and then we will redistribute them for generation two. Okay, so remember you just kind of mix them up and be random. Big, little pieces of paper aren't quite as easy to use as the blocks. Um, as we put them down, um, remember just each box needs to get one of the colors that you have in your population. Okay, I'm gonna pause that again. Uh, remember that anybody left is going into the graveyard because they weren't able to reproduce. Um, but this is our next generation. These are the parents. So this is gonna be generation two. And if we do the same thing, count who we have. Uh, we start off with blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue. So we're gonna put a seven here. And then for purple, we have one, two, three, four. And for green, we have one. Okay, so this should still equal 12 because there's 12 spots up here. Um, and then we'll continue to uh, put in the offspring. Remember, uh, when you get to the point where you may not have enough items left on your extra pile, um, you can take them from the graveyard, that's okay. Uh, they can be reborn, so to speak. Um, we're just gonna pretend that they are future offspring at this point, but uh, I didn't print enough cubes or color squares up, and uh, that may be the case for you as well. So now I have my matching offspring, each one matching in the parent set. We have to take away half of the green, so that means one of the two, and then two of the purple, okay? And I'm going to uh, stop this at this point. You can continue doing this for generation three and generation four. I'm just gonna pretend, because otherwise it's gonna take a long time, and you probably don't wanna watch that. Um, so let's look back at what this is asking us to do. The starting histogram is generation zero. So how many individuals of each color, blue, purple, and green, did we have at the beginning or at the start? So I need to draw those bars. And for blue, we have four. So that means I need four bars high. So one, two, three, four. For purple, it's also four. So the height of the histogram bar is gonna be the same with the column. And for green, it's also four. So the starting histogram had a even uh, distribution uh, and an even amount of variation. There's, vari there's three types of variation. So I guess that would be a lot of variation for this particular example. 
and the distribution was the same. At the end, now your end should be the fourth row, but my end I will just call here, um, we don't have the same variation. So if we draw that um, distribution out, we have seven blue cubes. So we have seven blue cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have four purple cubes. So we're going to draw that in the purple column. One, two, three, four. And then we have one green cube. So we'll put that in the green column. And there we go. So now we have our ending histi histogram. And it shows that we have the same amount of variation in generation two, but we don't have the same distribution. We have many more purple. Uh, sorry, blue individuals than we started with, and we have a lot less green individuals. So although in generation two, the variation's the same, the distribution's not the same because there's a lot more per, uh, blue than we had started with and a lot less green. You might imagine if we continuing doing this, it might look a little different by the time you get to the end. Um, so remember that your ending histogram should be this fourth uh, generation. So I hope that helps you understand uh, how to set this up and um, hopefully you can have uh, fun trying to figure out ways of representing the blue, purple, and green cubes. Um, give it a try. If you have any issues, uh, please ask questions, um, but try it out. Thanks so much.